Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Andy Sterkwitz. I'm a self-taught programmer. And in this video, what I'm gonna talk to you about is what to include in your resume as a self-taught programmer. This is one of the most important aspects of becoming a self-taught programmer is getting your job. And if you don't know what to include in your resume, how to make it look so that way you're actually getting interviews, then this process is gonna take a very long time. And I've seen people, a lot of people mess up this part of the process of not knowing what to put in the resume. They put too much, don't include enough. And so this process of actually landing the job is going to take them maybe months or years. And that's something that you wanna avoid. You wanna get into this industry as quickly as possible. So I'm definitely gonna cover in this video what you need to include in your resume. Now, before I get to that, just a quick introduction here. If you don't know who I am, like I said, I'm Andy Sterkwitz. I'm a self-taught programmer. I taught myself back in 2014. I landed my first job in 2015. And I actually mentor and coach people who are trying to do the same thing. So make a career transition. So if you're interested in content about how to learn to code, about study practices, about how to land that first job, I'd highly recommend hitting the subscribe button below. Also make sure to hit the bell icon so you get notifications anytime I put out a new video. Now, before we dive into what to include in your resume, it's extremely important at this point to be very clear about why we even have a resume. Because some of you guys forget about what the purpose of that resume is. You think it's about you getting hired when that's not actually the case. The purpose of your resume is to get an interview. So you're gonna send off your resume to different companies, they're gonna look through it, and they're gonna make a decision about whether to push you on to the next process, which is into an interview. So always remember that. You're trying to get past any filters that's gonna filter out your resume. You're also trying to make sure that when you get in front of a human being, when they're gonna scan it, that things stand out to them, that you are unique, you're interesting, and that they're like, hmm, there's something about this person, I wanna actually reach out and call them. So always remember that. This is not the thing that's gonna get you hired, it's just gonna get you to the next stage of the process. All right, so now let's get into what to include in your resume. And what I wanna start off with is your prior experience. Experience. And this is the thing that trips up so many self-taught programmers is how to include prior experience. So many of you guys who are out there who are teaching yourselves, maybe you're already applying for jobs or you're thinking about applying for jobs in the future and so maybe you've created a resume and you've just included all of your prior experience. I did the same thing. You can see here, I had worked for a law firm. Uh, I'd also worked as a car salesman. So I figured, well, they wanna see some that I've worked before, right? So I decided to include that. Well, guess what? I tried that resume everywhere and I got no calls back. Even though I had some other information that made it look like I was a programmer, that I had skills, I still didn't get any callbacks. So what I change and what I recommend you change is that experience section, change it to your project section and put your best projects out there on display. So this is the second resume that I use. This is the one that's a little bit more creative. And instead of having a prior experience there from actual work experience, I just placed all my projects. And I had links, the most important part by the way, is I had links to actually go click on the GitHub and see the live working projects as well. So that way somebody could see my GitHub, they could also see my personal website, they went deeper into my GitHub. Those are really important because look, you don't have prior experience. There's no point in my opinion of putting some non-related programming experience on your resume because that's only going to distract from the fact that you are actually a programmer. If they see that you worked at Starbucks, they're like, why is this person including that? So just put on your projects, make sure they're your best projects, there's something you're proud to show off and make sure that you explain what those projects are all about. Now the next section that's really important to make sure that you include is a skills section that lists out all of your skills as a programmer. So this means any programming languages that you know, it means any technologies that you've worked with, any skills that you've developed. This skills section needs to tie into the job that you're applying to. So obviously you may have touched many different programming languages while you're learning. You may have interacted with many different technologies. You may have read blog posts about different programming languages or technologies, and that's great. But you can't flood that skill section with every single thing you've ever learned. You need to tailor as closely as possible that skill section with the job posting that you're applying to. So that means before you send off your resume, you should tweak that skill section to closely align with what you're applying for. So let's say, just throw something out there. Let's say you're applying for a C++ position, right? And you have that skill section has HTML, it has CSS, it has JavaScript, it has a bunch of different things that doesn't really apply to that C++ programming position, then it's clear that there's not a whole lot of compelling reasons to include that. Now there is compelling reasons to include something like source control, database technologies potentially, but again, you have to make sure that you're just not flooding that skill section with every single keyword that you possibly can. Try to keep it as specific and as narrow as possible. So there may be 10 or 15 skills just 
make sure that they're aligned with whatever job posting you're going after. Now, the last section I recommend everyone include if you're a self-taught programmer is the about me or summary section at the very top of a resume. And this is something that's somewhat controversial. Some people say leave it off, some people say include it. Um, you, here you can see this is the resume that got me my job, this is the about me or summary section that I created. I think this is the type of thing that can really help you to stand out. If you tell your story in a very compelling way in one paragraph about who you are, why you're becoming a programmer, and just show enthusiasm and passion, that's the thing that make, can make you stand out from all the other people out there who are doing these sort of dry, cookie cutter resumes that they don't really tell a story about who they are. So my recommendation here is to include the about me or summary section. Take a lot of time to craft a summary, to write it, rewrite it, iterate it, make it good, make it stand out, make it pop. So that way, when a human does come across your resume, they're like, oh, who is this person? This is an interesting person. I have to meet them. I have to bring them in and just give them a shot. Believe me, it's something that can make you stand out. I, it's something I've seen work for a lot of different people. Now, if you are, if you really wanna go the more conservative route, the more traditional route of resumes, I'm totally fine with that, but here's what I would recommend for you. I would recommend experimenting by A, B, or split testing your resume by sending the resume out with a summary and without a summary to, let's say, 10 different employers and see what hits. But make a decision based on data more than anything else. All right, so those are the most important things to include on your resume. Just to quickly recap here, number one is you wanna make sure that your prior work experience is your projects that you've worked on, your best projects. You don't wanna include any non-programming related work experience. From there, you wanna make sure you list out all of your skills, but only the skills that are really related to the job that you're applying for. So make sure to change that before you apply to a job. And then the last thing is to include an about me or summary section that is well written and explains who you are, why you're passionate about programming, and just tells your story. So it's unique and you stand out. These are things that I've found really helped a lot of people who are trying to get into this field. So I highly recommend applying them. If you enjoyed the video, by the way, please leave a like. Also make sure to leave comments to share your experience of applying for jobs as a self-taught programmer. And by the way, if you are that type of person who is a self-taught programmer, so right now you are teaching yourself, you are spending a lot of your free time studying and putting in the work to become a programmer and to eventually transition, and you wanna work with me one-on-one -on -one to make that happen, I'd highly recommend checking out my paid mentorship program. Now, if you're interested in inquiring about that, what I would recommend you do is book a free career strategy session with me during that call, what we're gonna do is number one, I'm gonna help you to figure out what your exact goals are. We're gonna pinpoint that down. From there, I'm gonna figure out what you're struggling with, what's not working, and then after hearing all of that, I can really make the best decision about what your program will look like. So I'd highly recommend jumping on that call as soon as possible. The bookings tend to go quickly every week. So I will leave a link in the description below here where you can book that call. Make sure to do that as quickly as possible. But other than that, thank you so much for watching, guys, and as always, Peace out.